As promised, here is the Anode Heal Effect Part 2. Here's the other important part that you need to know about the anode and its heal. Um, you need to know how the anode angle changes the heal effect. So, the angle of the anode is how tilted that target surface is, right? So the electrons, once again, are coming from the cathode, and they're going to hit the anode. So if it has a smaller angle, like this right okay so the angle so remember the anode the tip of it is shaped like this a smaller angle would be like that that's smaller this is larger it's usually somewhere between 7 and 17 degrees write that down because god forbid we just pick a universal number and stick to it all right write this down smaller anode angle more heal effect why because look at the heal is this part remember right here look at if you lessen that angle look at how much heal you're making if you widen it, look how much less heal there is, because if the electron beam is hitting here, it's got more surface of the an the spinning anode to grab onto and drop straight down, versus like the smaller one here, it's gonna hit here and then there's more gunk to try to get through to get down. This is just straight tungsten making x-ray beams, you know what I mean? Okay, so smaller anode angle equals more anode heal effect. Why? Because Photons on the anode side have to plow through more of that metal crap, like I just said that, before they escape. More absorption in the target equals more uneven intensity. So your anode side gets even weaker, your cathode side gets beefier, and your beam uniformity goes straight to hell. <laughs> Larger anode angle equals less heal effect. With a bigger angle, photons can escape more easily from both sides. So the beam intensity is more even, as I mentioned. See, it can, it can escape over here and it can escape over here. But don't get too comfortable. Bigger angle also means a larger effective focal spot, which murders your spatial resolution. It's always a trade-off. Physics never gives you anything nice for free. So in conclusion, my friends, smaller angle, like seven degrees, stronger heel effect, sharper detail, and less field coverage. Bigger angle, like 17 degrees, weaker heel effect, softer detail, wider field, right? Because if you have a wider beam, you're gonna get a wider field. You can't win. Either your image is crisp but uneven or smooth but slightly fuzzy. Pick your poison.